Hello there, guys. This is Silent Mist, and welcome back to getting... No, this isn't getting technical. It's Minecraft. Welcome back to the Red Cube server, guys. Oh, silly me mixing my, my games up. We're here. We're here at the Nurturers base, and it would seem that they, like Nick, have made a gigantic warehouse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The reason why we are here today is, well, I just wanted, I was going through portals and I accidentally popped through a nerd herd portal, and yeah, the results were here. Something that I really, meh. We'll be paying a visit here later when we actually come to prank them, but for now, we are not going to be doing much of anything here. Oh, hi there, Mr. Villager. I do not know why you are out of your containment cell, but it would seem that you are, so let's do this. Make some boats. We're going to explore in this part. This is going to be a very exploring based episode because, well, I'd like to find, I'd like to generate some new world. I have the dynamic map actually open up on my other screen so I can observe the land that we are generating as we generate it. <laughs> hey, Nova. Novonia pranked the nerd herd and I, I'm looking forward to seeing that. I, I actually just saw it from over there. You might have actually seen it. I'm hoping that they'll have a video going up about it before I do, and I mean, they have like two and a half days to do that, so I don't see why they can't do that. But yeah, it's time to explore. We're already starting to enter into some ungenerated land. Let's see. And as of right now, we are now in ungenerated land. Let's, let's go forward. Yeah, goodbye there. Land, island. So something strange has been happening with my mouse. I really hope that, like, it's not breaking because, I mean, it's a good mouse, but if it breaks, I probably won't get it again, but it's, like, randomly freezing up whenever I use it. And ah, I haven't the slightest clue why it's doing that. It'll just randomly, like, I'll be moving it and then it'll freeze and then I can't use it for a few seconds and then not even, no, about half of a second and then it starts working again. I don't think it's a Windows error. I mean, I haven't tested this out in another operating system because I currently don't have one, but yeah. So, news on the Red Cube server. Uh, first of all, we have a dynamic map up and running. The IP address is not going to be distributed yet. In the future, I will probably, probably be giving it out. I just need to figure out how to get this web chat to work correctly because there is a way that we can make it so only server members can chat and then there would be a way to make it so, uh, not server members, uh, only certain people would actually be able to interact with through the web chat so that is something i need to work out i've also bumped up the view distance to 10 chunks since it used to be five and then i upgraded the server's ram at uh, the amount of ram that the server had so i bumped it up to 10 also one thing that i've been heavily considering is building a actual server for the red cube server because as you all know when i return i will be getting a better internet plan hopefully i'm going to pretty much just be telling my parents hey Comcast, as you all know, sucks, and look, oh gosh, Verizon Fios is now offering a plan in our area. Here's the difference in money. Let's get a better internet service. So we're going to be upgrading to the 150 slash 65 plan if all goes correct, correctly, which would be just utterly fantastic. And excuse me as I uh, quickly zoom out of the dynamic, impact, dynamic map so we can go exploring, but it would seem that we've stumbled upon another continent right over here this this shouldn't be an oh no this right here is an island there's a continent above this area up here but what am i saying oh this might not even be an island this might be part of that very continent that we're going to be generating this is just like let's generate with silent mist so i want to do this like i want to get the initial area that the server is completely explored completely generated so once not if but when the uh chunk the chunk render not the uh the world generator is updated we will have shears, but at least we won't have them in the middle of the world, because those are just absolutely disgusting looking. Hate it when that happens, and there are like a lot of black spots on the dynamic map, so that means there are a lot of spots on the map that have not been explored yet, so yeah. Um, but back to the server, so I was thinking, I, I, there, ooh, extreme hills, we could totally mine some emerald here. But I've been debating on as to whether or not I just want to like upgrade this desktop to another desktop and then use this one as the server, or if I want to build like a low power, fanless, completely silent PC, because the uh, first of those two or the latter of those two would be like just it wouldn't be like running another computer, It'd just be like having a little box that pu puts out ones and zeros. I mean, not that any normal computer isn't that, but um, it would be 
it wouldn't generate a lot of heat and I could just keep it running 24 7 now this thing does generate a decent amount of heat I mean I guess if I did do this if I did run this as a server I could just like underclock it bump down the voltage and then what else bump the voltage down and just have it run coolly uh, I could even disable cores and hyper threading to get it even cooler and even have it even more power efficient so that was one thing that I was considering, and else I could just keep on hosting with Fragnets because, well, I've been having some rollbacks with Fragnets. That, and I'd like to have a bigger server, and by that I mean I'd like to have a server that could accommodate any amount of people that we want. Right now it is a little limiting in the amount of people that it can hold, but like I said, that that really doesn't matter too much because right now we only have 13 members, I think. 13? Yeah. Uh got to send out or no no i don't have to send out what am i saying nothing ignore me so on top of that i've been thinking of also like I i've been wondering if if building like a rendering computer would be be beneficial because as you all know the render or as many of you should know the rendering process when it comes to making a video is the most time time consuming part of what i do not a lot of people spend a ton of time in editing i am not one of those um so, you know these episodes more often than more often than not are completely uncut and they are the actual they are they are the episodes without any changes and i do this because a i like giving you guys the full experience and b i'm <laughs> i'm lazy so that is that is one thing look oh i thought we could run into into these things without them affecting us liar what was i saying i was saying something about Oh yeah, so building a rendering PC would be beneficial because I could render out my videos and at the same time use my computer for whatever the heck I'm using it for. Because, yeah, render I, I can record when I'm rendering videos, but it does cause... I, I usually will start to drop some frames. Um, speaking of dropping frames, I'm dropping frames right now. I'm not playing at 60 FPS, but that's because I'm generating new land. It is to be expected. But... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the rendering PC, it wouldn't be anything extreme. It'd probably be like uh, an 8-core AMD chip and... Oh, 8 cores! No, it's an AMD CPU. Those things are weak sauce. Anything that AMD makes is weak sauce. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like AMD processors, but they're so darn cheap. They're so much cheaper than AM than Intel, the Intel counterparts. And you guys are just gonna leave the soul sand there. <laughs> and because of that, it would be like... Uh, I guess it would be okay for under. You'd probably be as fast, if not. Oh, well, I guess it is newer technology than my i7, so it would be as fast, if not a little bit faster than the the chip that I currently have in here. But then, ooh, as you all know, I'm currently saving up to build like a very, very good like high end gaming PC and well, gaming slash editing PC, and that is an expensive and that's that that is not only an expensive endeavor, but uh. No, that is just an expensive endeavor. It isn't even anything else. It'll be time consuming for like the first two days that I have it because I plan on water cooling that thing. And if any of you guys have ever dabbled in water cooling, you should know that it is quite the time consuming process. And by that, I mean, it takes, well, from what I've seen, it takes about, it takes about four to six hours just to get everything all set and done with the water cooling part of that. That's excluding the actual build time of the computer. And actually... I built a computer for my friend not too long ago, and man, I did it pretty darn quick. Like, I had the computer built within an hour, and yeah, I, I felt pretty good. And considering that's only like the third PC that I've built from nothing but raw parts, I feel pretty good about it. And oh man, this is this is a crazy continent that we're exploring and generating. Whoops. But yeah, another benefit to having to me having the uh, server and running it myself would be the resources that I could allocate to the server. Come on, turn around. There we go. Being that it'll pro it'll still be running. Uh, when I upgrade my computer, there are parts that I'm going to recycle from this. However, the RAM and the CPU are the RAM, CPU, and motherboard are things that I'm not going to be recycling. So I will. You gotta be kidding me! I thought you could run into into these things without ever like worrying about damaging your boats. But okay, so I was going to recycle. I was not going to recycle. The only thing that I'm recycling from this build is the graphics card um everything else is going into the old build if not it's going or into this fabled server build else it's being sold because uh yeah i <laughs> it, it, no need to keep it otherwise but if i do have this thing running like the win the uh minecraft server it'll have 16 gigs of ram for the server and that is quite a step up from the oh 
from the uh, gig and a half that we have right now. So, yeah, that is something that I'm considering. The only thing that worries me about hosting the server myself is how the server is going to run when I upload videos, because as you all know, uh, or no, not as you all, well actually, some of you guys might know this, from my old public server, every day there would be like a period of time when the server got really laggy, and that was because we were um, uploading a video, or I was uploading a video. So, I hope that will be resolved by having a much better internet plan, because I don't know if I'm going to be uploading at a speed of roughly 7 megabytes a second. 7 megabytes, that's, I think that's about 65 megabits. Um, if you don't know how to convert mega, how to convert bits to bytes, just take the bits and divide it by 8, or take the bytes and multiply it by 8. And that is how you convert bits and bytes, because, well, yeah, <laughs> why not? Tis, tis useful information to know, because, oh god, why did I, why did I do that? That, that was just, where did my boat go? What? Did my boat break? What? I thought that I right-clicked in the boat. I, 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 what? I don't even. Let's just go. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. Is that my boat up off in the distance? No, that is a floating block of dirt. Oh man, it's almost nighttime. Hmm. Thinking that we're gonna, like, circumnavigate, we're just gonna go, well, not even, not circumnavigate, we're in a flat world that just infinitely generates, but we're just gonna go in a very large, a very large arc from the Nerd Herd's base to our current base. Just to see what what we can generate and to see what will uh, what we'll get. And right now, it seems like we that that area that we were just visiting that is a very large continent. Um, I'm really liking how this map is generating itself. Like we have in the middle, we have a we have a very no, we have like a peninsula of a gigantic continent, and then to the south of that, we have a lot of islands. Oh, whoa! I'm turning around way too quick. Um, to the south of that, to the south of that, we have multiple islands. Now, this is something that I really like because I like having my base on the island, or my my town, not base. We're not in the chrono. Oh god! Oh god! Don't don't break my boat! Don't break my boat! I saw a lot of flying squid the other day, but I like I like to have it on the island because I like feeling isolated, as you probably all might know. So in doing so, we have a nice, we have a nice nice island that we can live on and inhabitate. Oh, look at that place over there. And, and yeah, so we're, we're living in that island and we are enjoying that island. Wow, this is a very interesting piece of land right here. I can't wait to see this load up on the dynamic map. I think there's a river right there that looks like one. Let's see, what is that? Oh my gosh, I like this place. That is, oh god, <sighs> careful. Nope, we're just going to break that and we are going to walk our way through here oh my that is beautiful oh that's not even a lake that's just a uh floating thing of thing let's just walk around it man my frame rates generating new land yields low frame rates maybe if i didn't have 32 times anti-aliasing forced across all games i wouldn't get this uh this lag in minecraft or or this lack of perfect 60 fps but, you know, I, I thought that it really wouldn't have much of an effect, but then I enabled it, and my gosh, it has a gigantic effect. Oh man, there are things over there. Hey there. You're not gonna attack me? Oh, okay. Were you guys like... Did your idle timer, like, begin or something? Nope, you're dead. Oh yeah, this is, this is a nice continent. A very nice continent indeed. Ouch. Oh, dog barking in the background. Let's see, so it's only going to be, I th yeah, it's only a few more days. I'm only here in New Jersey for a few more days, and yeah, I've got to, upon returning, I'll be starting up a lot of the Let's Plays that I had planned to, and actually, I've got to, like, okay, Paper Mario, for all of you people that watch Paper Mario, um, there's pretty, Chapter 7 needs to be redone. Uh, I finished the game, but Chapter 7 needs to be redone. Which is really unfortunate because getting back to chapter seven, getting to chapter seven is going to take a stupidly long time unless I can like find a save that's already at chapter seven somewhere. Um, but yeah, I recorded chapter seven with Mayo and the audio got desynced and then I lost the first part of it when I was cleaning out my hard drive. Uh, meaning that I recorded them in different segments and I had started chapter five before or no, chapter seven before I talked with Mayo and then I guess I never rendered out the part. And then I deleted the raw footage, so I, I'm missing a part there, and then, and then, 
Hmm, what else? I can't even think. I don't even... I don't even know, lol. But, yeah, I need to redo a decent chunk of Paper Mario. That's And that's a drag because it's so far off in the game. But, eh, I'll do that when I get home to Massa Massachusetts. Also, I'm going to be beginning the Murder Massa Let's Play and the Pikmin's 1 and 2 Let's Play. Or actually, just the Pikmin 1 Let's Play, and then I'll be doing the Pikmin 2 Let's Play. I'm hopefully going to get the Pikmin 1 Let's Play done, like, within two or three recording sessions, because that's going to be probably... At most, that's going to be 20 episodes, and that's really not that much. So, yeah. Tis Pikmin. Uh, and then the Muramasa play, let, play through. I'm looking forward to that. I might actually submit that to Ninbuzz, because I'd like to make a video for Ninbuzz. I've, I've said that a few times, actually, before, that... Ninbuzz interests me in terms of let's see if we can get a video up on it. So I'm going to be submitting something to them. Maybe I'll submit something to PMP also or PMP or both. I don't even know. I have plenty of time to make these videos. No need to uh, feel like I'm being rushed. But we are actually on the arriving end of we're actually getting pretty close to our island. We'll be arriving there not in not too long. We've got maybe 500 blocks to travel in this direction before we hit it. Before we hit it, and there is an island right there. And yeah, we pretty much just expanded our world by uh, by about 20 percent. Well, we we expanded the area that is to be explored by about 20 percent. Uh, definitely needs to be fully explored, but that'll happen soon. Oh, there's an island in front of us. I'm just watching the dy the dynamic map just periodically update itself. Are we going the right way? Is this the right way? This is the right way, but there's an island in the way. Actually, we can just go right through the desert island. Maybe we'll even find something cool. Maybe we'll find one of those uh, desert temple things. I have yet to get to see one. Let's see. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, man, we're getting hungry. So eat, 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 eat all of the meat. And we're actually running low on meat. That's the, This is the last of the meat that I have on me. Which is rather unfortunate because I do enjoy my steak and I'm not looking forward to not being able to eat it. Although, we're working on a cow farm at home. And once that is all ready, it'll be absolutely fantabulistic in terms of steak production. But man, this is, this is a nice island. There's actually a really big island to the north of our island that I wouldn't mind establishing myself in. But it's... Like, our island is already a very, very large island in the grand scheme of islands. So, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be establishing in an island that's about two and a half times larger than that. But, yeah, I really like this island of mine. It's just pretty full and quaint and beautiful. Pretty full, quaint, and beautiful, yes. What an accurate representation. And now, any second, the island that we call home should be popping up. Actually, I don't think I've... Yeah, I, we didn't actually show... I haven't shown what I've done on it yet. Because... Or at least I don't think I did. Did I? I don't know. Regardless, there's there's home. Uh, da, 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 da. We've, we've done... We've done a bit. We cut down all the trees on the island. And we started planning... Well, no, we haven't started planning out what we're going to do. But we're going to start planning out what we're going to do with everything on the island very soon. Like... um, I don't want to plan out the roads necessarily. Because I don't want to have house is constrained by roads but i do want to have roads going to all of the houses so we're going to be having a set we're gonna have somewhat of a uh road system i've also since the start i've i moved the nether portal into the middle of this lake and then just put a little dock out here i like it it, it just gives you like an awesome feeling that you're entering a wonderful place uh yeah that looks like a penis i don't like that too much um <laughs> Either Lindlin or Kenji built that. I'm not sure who. And yeah, it doesn't really look like it. I mean, it looks like a house, but it also looks like a penis. Uh, yeah, but we've also thrown in an enchanting table right here just because it's a drag going to and fro spawn to enchant our items. And let's see, what else have we done? The cow farm is going to be up here. This is where we're going to be uh, breeding cows like there is no tomorrow. Uh, there are a lot of signs of here. I tried to move the cows up here by water. And then they started drowning. There were like 10 cows that I was trying to move in the, originally. And now there are how many? Six. We lost four of them in the let's see if we can get you guys up there plan. Obviously it failed. Used a bunch of signs just to uh, hold the water back. And yeah, for the most part, all the trees on the island are gone. There are, as you can see over there, a few of them over here. 
Um, oh, no, that's the island. Those are supposed to be like that. Pretty much, we cut down most of it, and then there was a little bit left, and I just got sick of cutting it down, so I torched it. And, yeah, we have plenty of... We have a lot of wood now. Look, look at all the wood that we have. Yeah, this used to be completely full. Then we have our cheese box, and, yeah, I have all these wonderfully enchanted things in here. Did I, I think I got this in between the two parts or no yeah it was this one and one of these maybe that one done a couple more enchants we got to get those diamond leggings enchanted just so we have the full set of enchanted diamond armor i'm not going to be wearing that uh regularly that's just going to be for whenever we go to the end whenever someone someone is whenever someone is pranking my house and i'm aware of it and then uh, whatever. Whenever else I might need it. But aside from that, the standard diamond armor is more than enough in terms of protection. But yeah, guys, I think with all that exploring done, I think we're going to call it a part here. And for now, that is all. And I will see you all in the next part, which I'm actually going to record right after this. <laughs> see you all later. Goodbye.